Today's episode is all about weird family traditions. We always make up our own birthday song because the original one is so annoying. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> we make a popcorn stringer for Christmas, but you have to eat the <gasps> one from the year prior. prior first. No, 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 the no. Most oh, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Do you want to fight? <laughs> I'm a little grossed out, but I think I could see this one worse. See, I it's Sarah and Lo Beeston, your Fairly Odd Sisters. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Please don't make me do it again. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Fairly Odd Sisters. Hello! We are happy to be back, and we have some exciting things today mm -hmm. to talk about. Some life updates. Big ones. You go first, though. What's going on in your life? Oh, I don't feel like I have a big update. I feel like you... I do. Just anything. Stella's uh, freaking... Oh, th Stella's turned three. Woo! That's crazy because she's just been my baby forever and three sounds old for her. Three is like you were actually a toddler. There's no confusing yeah, baby. She's still my baby, you yeah, know? Yeah, she will. She will until you have your next one. Until I have my next one. Yeah. So but that's the only, that's, that's it. <laughs> I feel like there's not really big updates in our life right now. Like me and Tanner. That's yeah. kind of the best way to be like just chilling, going through, getting in a routine. Normal routine life is right now for me. <laughs> yeah. Kind of jelly of that. <laughs> no, you have exciting stuff. We have really exciting stuff. It's just, it's, it's a lot. It's very quick. Yeah. Um, Derek and I, well, we booked a trip and Tanner and Lauren are going with us to Hawaii for a month. Mm -hmm. So, cause we looked at our calendar and we were like, oh, there's nothing going on all of August. We're just hanging out, we're chilling. And it's my birthday in August, so I wanted to go to Hawaii. So we literally just booked a trip. Well, today we feel like my family is the weirdest family in the world, but as far as like traditions, cause we're talking about weird <laughs> family. the weirdest family in the world. <laughs> We just, there's a lot going on there. A lot to okay, unpack. Okay. But I feel like as far as family traditions go, we don't have like out there really traditions. weird ones that I was trying to think. Interesting. Today's episode is all about weird family traditions. Yeah. And I'm like trying to rack my brain and nothing, nothing comes to mind. I mean, we do traditions, but they're, you know I don't what? Feel like one that comes to mind for you is just, it's not weird, but it's just like interesting. Wait, not interesting. Say? Just something that I, so basically, it is weird. it's something that I know about you. Weird, it's what? not weird, but um, that you guys do the orange rolls like for every celebration. Yes, we do like the Pillsbury. What Pillsbury, are, they? are they? Orange Pillsbury? rolls. Pillsbury yeah. orange rolls, which are actually so freaking they good. They are amazing. I cried because we were in Hawaii. I thought they had discontinued them, and I actually <laughs> cried in the grocery store. I'm not kidding. It was so sad. Oh, like, I bet you nobody old... believes you that you cried in the grocery store. I, nobody <laughs> believes that. <laughs> No, I did not shed a tear. I did not call my mom and say, what's going on? Where are the orange Where's rolls? Where's the orange rolls? That's, I feel like, a staple of your family. It really is. Every tradition, every holiday involves Pillsbury orange Pillsbury rolls, orange not even rolls. homemade ones. My mom tried to make homemade ones, and I was like, this is not right. Sometimes homemade is not better than the no. bomb. No. I will say. If you haven't tried the orange rolls... Go get one. Keep them in business, please, because I they can't handle so, that again. They're so good. Yeah, don't yeah. put Sarah through that. Don't put that. Like, another thing that's better bought than homemade is um, Pretzel Time Pretzel Maker. Oh. I mean, pretzels from Pretzel Time. Is it called Pretzel Time or Pretzel Maker? Pretzel, pretzel Maker. Pretzel Maker. It used to be called Pretzel Time. You're really Sorry. confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretzel Maker makes the best pretzels of all time, yeah. hands down. Yeah, you can't. And you can't even them. recreate it with a homemade. Absolutely. Like not. it's just nothing can touch the pretzel no. maker pretzel. I think they could use a homemade cheese sauce though. Like they could, the but like the nacho cheese does downhill. me good. It like, does, but it's just like they changed it over the years. It did is they? different. Yeah. I need to go back and have one because I've been craving one of those recently. Every time I go to a mall, it's in my hand. Yeah, that um, you can't beat. No, but that's true. I, that's funny you remember some, the orange rolls yeah the orange rolls um what are you what are your weird family i feel like traditions? my main one which isn't like oh, super weird no, is the christmas is, eve that's kind of weird i mean it is really weird like everyone was always so mad and like mind blown when i would say this as a kid yeah but to me it's so normal and i think people in south america south america do this a lot 
<laughs> should oh, we do we a disclaimer? Should. Please, Sienna, before, put before a disclaimer. we talk about this Christmas tradition, I need to give a disclaimer to all of you. If you're listening to this podcast with kids, turn it off. Please um, put it in your headphones or pause it for later because I don't want to say anything in front of the kiddos. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Basically, we've always celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Which works out better now Which that you're married because you actually, don't have to split Christmas I with family. I loved it so much as a kid. Um, we So basically what we would do is we would um, like go throughout the day. It's Christmas Eve. We would celebrate. And we'd always have a family party to go to, typically like a cousin's house. And when we got back home, we would leave and there would be no presents under the tree. And when we got back home from the party, we would the whole drive home be looking out the window for Santa's sleigh. Oh. And we'd see Santa in the sky and Rudolph's nose. And we'd be oh like, my gosh. he may be coming to our house. Hurry, drive faster. And yeah. we'd be like hurrying home. And we walk in, boom, Santa already came. We had our 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 um, stockings laid yeah. out with all the stocking stuffers. That's and the, pretty fun. the Christmas presents were all there. And we're like, we just missed him. We're freaking yeah. out. Like, how could we miss him? We didn't even see him on the roof. Yeah. Like, how did he make it before? How did your mom make this happen? This was what was so magical because I never knew how, until how I was older she, and I asked her. Did she sneak away from the family yes. party? So what, what would happen? No, because we were 30 minutes away. Okay, so like, that's we why I'm be, wondering we'd how be, like, she would away, do it. So we... That's why I always believed in, I believed in just in Santa way longer than the way other kids. longer. <laughs> and I also was the youngest and I felt like I had to carry that on because I thought that if I stopped believing, we wouldn't get presents for Christmas so anymore. So you're like, this like, is I up to me. I was holding up the family with my <laughs> belief in Santa. That like so funny. that was just, a, anyway. So yeah. So basically what happened was we would all be in the car, like running out the door, trying to get to the Christmas party. And my mom would forget something inside. She'd be like, oh, freak, I forgot my bread or like whatever. She would just hurry or my and phone. Set it up. And she would run inside. I'm not kidding you. She would do this in under two minutes. Like the, I would never, ever question it because she would run inside. She you guys had, are just sitting in the car? Sitting in the car because we were like rolling out. And then she'd be like, oh my gosh, I forgot my phone. Would book it inside. Literally in under two minutes would have all the presents in a bag and dump all the presents out. And then she would lay out all of our, um, stockings. She just had it ready to go. Ready to go. Like it would all be beautiful when we got back. Cause my oh mom my doesn't do gosh. anything that's not beautiful, but like in under two minutes, I'm not kidding. That's she would crazy. be back outside in the car and nobody would question it because it was so fast. That like is it was so just nuts. like, boom, boom, done. Let's go. And I wouldn't even think twice. Like she it was, was just so in the car. Ready. Ready to go. That is crazy. And so anyway, so I never, ever questioned it. And you were we probably would get back still home. believing in Santa. Yes. Tell me. You believe I it? honestly still believe in Santa. It's <laughs> like a magical thing. And I you believe just, in magical leaving. I love believing in like just magical things. I think it's so fun. And anyway, I would come home and it was the most magical thing in my life. And then I felt like special. Like I felt like it was like he got to our you first. family gets to have this like get, gets to open presents before mm. anyone else. Like it mm. felt very magical and we were kind of getting special treatment yeah. almost that we get to open our presents yeah. before anyone else is even awake so what would you do on christmas day then so my family we've always been sleepers like Just we sleep. don't wake up early no. at all we, my mom told me we never did and it makes sense because ozzy's literally sleeping until 10 a.m every day yeah, and i'm like true. you're a teenager so um we would just sleep in wake up my mom would have a gorgeous gorgeous breakfast laid out for us ready like perfect breakfast I don't even like breakfast but it was so pretty and then we would have breakfast I would play with my toys and then we'd usually go to like a cousin's house and we'd like talk about what we got what we so got it's just and like we'd the hang same out thing. it's the it same just, thing it's just you we, just didn't open presents we didn't you open presents in. we slept in honestly yeah that's and like, it was a dream for my parents we weren't waking them up <laughs> yeah it might be smarter and because i was always so tired on christmas because we'd wake up at 4 a.m four that's insanity oh my gosh well let's talk about how when i got married Derek woke me up at 3.30 a.m. and wanted to do presents. That's actually crazy. Derek, my No, I husband, believe it because he still did. He did that to us right when we got nobody married. Nobody loves was like, Christmas Derek. like Derek. I was like, yes, what is going that. on? He's like, I already saw what you guys got because his parents don't wrap the Santa presents. <laughs> oh they could see gosh. him. And so literally our, my first year married to Tanner. I love him for it. He's coming in, waking us up at four. And I'm just like, what is actually and going you're on? you're used to sleeping. I'm like, again. I'm not a morning person. And he's like, I already saw what you guys got. Come upstairs, look. I got an iPhone and it's just like what is happening 
But um, so I do believe that. He yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? I was like, I just married Elf. I married, I married the Elf. Yeah. He, he was, was so excited to wake up. Crazy. That is. But yeah. That was a good my, family tradition. That was my family tradition. That was kind of More weird to there. everyone else. But honestly, it's worked out. Like it was so fun. Yeah. And one year, I remember one year we did Christmas morning and we all hated it. Like we were all just like, one year, she's like, I'll switch it up on them. Yeah. Like we, and it's kind of fun. Cause my sister has carried that on into her family. Yeah. She never, um, she switches it up all the time. So the kids never know, know if it's going to be coming. a Christmas Eve or a Christmas morning, That's kind of but cool. I will say, yeah. So it's always a surprise. Like when's Christmas going to be? Uh -huh. And she still has young ones that believe in Santa. And so it's fun to like be able to see that. But she tells us that every time that it's Christmas morning, they're always so bummed when they get back and there's not like Christmas out. Oh, Cause it's like, yeah, when there is like that, it's so exciting. It. They're like, no. Like, so what do you think come. you'll do with Ozzy and Stella? That's such a good question. Cause right now we just do Christmas morning because we spend Christmas Eve usually with my family. Uh -huh. Cause we've always just done Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. And so it makes it easy, but I don't know. I loved Christmas Eve. I just don't want to, I think we'll end up doing Christmas Eve if our kids like to sleep and they like yeah. enjoy it. So what would you do with your family party? Cause if they I think eventually we'll just do Christmas Eve, really Eve with my family yeah. and, and like then, everyone's going to have their established families that they want to do yeah. their own Christmas totally. with. This year we were sick. And so we kind of just had to do our own Christmas yeah. morning anyway, mm -hmm. which was fun. Yeah. That's awesome. So anyway, what That's do you think? Amazing. Does it sound fun to you or does it sound like you would never do it because you just always grew up with it Christmas sounds morning. really fun to me i just don't know if i could be ready by then i feel like i'm always scraping by at the last second but you would just be everything. ready the night before that's true i think it sounds fun yeah. i mean it sounds more fun for the parent because your kids will sleep in mm -hmm. like to their normal time yeah instead of waking you up at the butt crack of dawn yeah and then you're up late yeah. so late wrapping presents mm -hmm. getting it all ready and then it's like pretty I exciting. Swear I don't sleep. It's so fun. I love that yeah. part of it. And it's so fun to be a mom for that. Yes. But it sounds more enjoyable yeah. to do it your way. Yeah. For sure. My it's parents should have done that because my mom hates waking up. Yeah. She used to make a rule where we couldn't wake her up until 930. What's crazy is how 930. like. That's so on normal Christmas though. Christmas morning. So we would. <laughs> no, that's not normal. No, uh, but it is. Because we were Christmas. up at like five. So we're yeah. sitting there waiting playing with our stocking stuffers for four and a half hours yeah. before we're allowed to go in mom's room. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard as a kid. But like, uh, honestly, it's funny to me because your mom doesn't like to wake up in the morning, but you just told me that you've never slept in in your life, like past like eight. No, 30. no. Nine is like my, your I max, think my cap, I which don't is think, wild. I'm sure there were one or two days if I stayed out super late that I was in bed till 10, maybe. Yeah. But it's like, for the most part, I was just up. Yeah. But early riser yeah my mom loves her mornings she's like, she's like you in that way yeah she's like i i can't call her until after 10 a.m yeah it's like because don't she's even not, try she's not awake <laughs> that's my dream life that is low <laughs> in 20 years that is her that's my dream life she, i won't 10. be able to call low i won't be able to call my mom or low <laughs> send a different emergency contact literally literally oh man well, I think that's like all of mine. I don't think we have any weird ones. Yeah. I'm trying we to do think like of a something. talent show on Christmas Eve where everyone has to do a musical number. number. That is interesting. Or something in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a lot of people do that. Yeah. Um, are there, no, there's literally. Yeah. I nothing think that's else. it for us. That's it. All Not right. that weird. Oh. What? Every year we watch the Santa Claus. Every single year. Yeah. On Christmas Eve, I've seen I it. feel like I, I love, guess everyone does that with no, Elf or, just like with some movie of Christmas time. I like true. that. We used to watch Lord of the Rings. I watch all the Twilights <laughs> myself. That one still kills me. And myself, one year, that's my own tradition. I love it. I love it so much. When it's Christmas time, I just know I'm about to rewatch all of them. Yeah, it's my favorite thing in the freaking world. I love and that. Lisa, my sister, does Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay. I love it. Love it. All right. Let's, let's get to some of these. This okay. one says bacon, banana, and cheese croissants. Don't knock mm. it till you try it. Actually. I could see the appeal see to that. This. Actually. Mm. Croissant with a little salty bacon, with banana a little and sweet. Cheese. I am a little grossed out, but I think I could see this one working. See, I don't really love bacon personally so mm, i like a bacon as long as it's crispy it has to be crispy it's got to be crisped oh, up man. i don't even care i'd Not rather it be burnt than to be 
chewy. I'm good cooked. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I think it's every time I cook bacon, bacon looks less less appetizing less and less. to me. Well, I don't like to see it raw. Yeah. I don't like to see it but raw as long as like it's cooked and the crisp. The amount of grease and fat that comes off of it, I don't know, it does something to my tummy. I'm like, my tummy doesn't handle that very well. Yeah. So I think that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but like bacon I do better love a good sausage. crispy part of the bacon. I will yeah. just pick off of it. Me too. I like it that. It drives Derek crazy because I'll just take the crispy part and he just leaves the fat. fat. <laughs> he kind of loves it though. Oh but, man, that's funny. Oh, uh, anyway. Okay. This one says we have ribs for Thanksgiving instead of turkey. Not weird. Just really good. I like this actually because I used to not like turkey. And so I would always say like, mom, why can't we just do steak dinner? So a couple years we would do like a family steak dinner. But now I really actually appreciate turkey. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the only time I ever have turkey. Unless it's on like unless, a deli sandwich. Yeah, unless it's on, and that's not the kind of turkey that, yeah. it's like, this is way better than that kind yes, of turkey. Yes. And so I'm like, I actually now prefer Appreciate to it. have turkey mm-hmm. on Thanksgiving because. It's special. It's a, the only time I ever have it. Yeah. Is on Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I like it now. Mm-hmm. Before I was just like, why? Like, why yeah. not just have steak? But yeah. now I'm like, we have steak a lot. Yeah. So let's have turkey. I feel like ribs is another one of those things that you don't have very often. That's true. Like my dad used to do it at like once every six months. I don't months. ever have ribs. Yeah. So I feel like that's kind of That's cool. fun. It's not like I'll just steak or something. Yeah. But the turkey just complements the, the gravy, stuffing and the, the gravy stuffing, and the mashed the potatoes rolls, really well. The corn. I look forward to Get that dinner. corn husks here. Corn husks. Um, but I do think that you should do some ribs, do some turkey too. Do some you turkey, do some ribs. You lots of different meats. Like, yeah, let's do a let's smorgasbord. Do a smorgi. Let's get a smorgasbord up in here. That sounds awesome. Also, Honestly. charcuterie boards, now that they are, like, a thing now. Charcuterie boards. Like, that's, that's a dream life. You know what I, you know what I, I will say this might be a hot take. I don't want to offend anyone. You don't like charcuterie boards? No, I like charcuterie boards, but if it's just, like, if we're trying to, it's like a meal thing and it's just charcuterie boards i can't do it we need more than just a charcuterie i need sustenance i need some heavier oh yeah you know that's not a meal on its own that's not don't you feel like you've gone to so many things where they're like dinner served dinner is served and it's cheese and grapes and And i'm like sorry i can't i can't survive off of this no literally that's my hot take Um, no i think that they're because i do love charcuterie boards they're They're a great appetizer appetizer yes if you can pick at it and pick at it pick at it pick at it then i'm ready for my roll and my meat meat give us the meat also day after thanksgiving is the better meal when you have the roll and you put the turkey on the roll and you put the mayo and you put the great i mean mashed potatoes on your roll you ever done that just say mayo with mashed. sorry not mayo i was skip the mayo Okay. You put the roll, you open it up. You put turkey, the turkey, you put the potatoes, mashed potatoes. Gravy, you put so a good. little cranberry sauce, maybe. So good. I don't know. I've never done that, but there's <gasps> cranberry sauce. <laughs> I don't now do I'm that, making but when you do this. But that is it's better. Good. It's even better the second day. It is because it soaks in all that. I like Thanksgiving. I do too. I love stuffing. I wish people I had love stuffing on more days. I would eat the sides over the meat any day. Give me the roll, give me the mashed potatoes, give me the stuffing, and I will eat that and yeah. be fine. I don't even need the milk. I would rather give up dairy, and you know how much I love milk? I would rather give up dairy than give up gluten. I would, too. I want bread every second of my life. I would do that, too. Yeah. And I am and a cheese fanatic. Yeah. At the heart, you are cheese. <laughs> At the heart, I am cheese, apparently. <laughs> but literally, the lasting joke in our friend group, what would Sarah take the island a bottle of ranch? Bottle of ranch. Slice of cheese. <laughs> Play some American cheese. <laughs> you would survive oh, so well. No, but I, I would. I live on bread. Like I can't bread give is up just bread. Every I'm sorry. single second, I crave bread. And that's why I'll never have a six pack. It's that's fine. okay with me. It's fine. Um, okay. Was that me or you? How well I got lost in the gluten. Um, I think that was me. Oh, okay. Whenever you get socks for Christmas, you have to yell socks in your most excited voice. <laughs> actually, though, that's actually amazing. I love the tradition. But actually, I love getting socks for Christmas. I love socks. I got you socks for Christmas. You did get me ear socks. Fuzzy socks. Lots of animal socks. It was the best present ever. Uh, why? It's so funny. I remember giving my cousin, like, scissors and socks for her birthday. And she scissors was like, and, and socks. scissors and socks. Socks. And she said it like that. And that was like a lasting joke that we oh had. So maybe it's a thing socks. to really shout socks. It reminds me of a SpongeBob bit, but I think it's just, I think it's not in that. 
I think I'm thinking chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my god! No, but I actually want to take that. I'm going to take that tradition and apply it to my life. If that's okay with you. Yeah. I like screaming I think, socks. I, I think, think that's that funny. would be flattering to them. Yeah. And so every, every time, time they you open get the socks, girls say you have to, you socks. have to scream it. <laughs> I I'll do that funny. now. Anytime I open a pair of socks from now on, we'll do that. I really like it. Okay. This one says talent show at any family event. We are all grown adults now, but still participate. Yeah. Wait, people do I it. I can relate to that. I we just had it, our people do it. family reunion with my mom's side of the family. And we hadn't had one in like years and years. And of course, like growing up, we always had to come with a talent and I'd always do some dumb dance with my cousins. That was mm -hmm. so funny. And now we literally had to do the sing. same thing. Me and my you brother. And you guys yeah, sing. my mom volunteered us to sing some songs. I bet that was awesome. <laughs> it was fun. And everyone did a talent. That's so awesome. Okay. We embroider our names into thanks into the Thanksgiving tablecloth in a new color every year. Oh, that's cute. That's really that cute. That feels like it would take a long time too. They probably got good by it. now. Just mm, mm, mm. They probably My name would be easy. I would just do L O. That's true. I like that. That's really cute. That's really sweet. You can never lose that tablecloth. Mm-mm. This one says, we always make up our own birthday song because the original one is so annoying. <laughs> That's actually funny. Remember when I, I like that. <laughs> when you made Connor This is sing my most embarrassing birthday. moment oh, of my life. Oh, when you sang how Of my life. Yeah, tell him. Tell to him. this day, this is the most embarrassed I've ever been. Yeah. So basically what this happened. This is the most secondhand embarrassment I've ever had. I've <laughs> never felt more embarrassment <laughs> coming off of, like, it was eluding out of my body. <laughs> And I had to commit and it was so embarrassing. We were at this restaurant for our friend Connor's birthday. And we it was like a temp, it was like a hibachi grill type it's of like place. So they're cooking for you. And yeah. we're all sitting around the chef and he's grilling up food for us. And um, I got dared by one of my friends to stand up and sing a made up birthday song just on the spot for him. I thought it was that. I thought it was happy birthday, but in opera. It was opera, but it was a made up song. That's oh, the worst yeah. part is that I was making up the lyrics. And it was because when it was my birthday, uh, the one of the waiters at Cheesecake Factory like stared me in my eyes and made up a song for me. Yes. And he like sang me a birthday song that was, yeah. I'd never heard in my life. And I was like, that was incredible. And also yeah. so funny. And so yeah. that's where they sparked the idea. And yeah. they were like, do one of those songs yeah. for Connor. I dare you. And I'll give you 20 bucks. So I was like, sure, I'll do that for $20. <laughs> like, sure. That's the easiest $20 sure. I'll ever make. And so I stood up and I just started singing the worst I've ever sung in my life. I was like all super off key opera opera and just saying, I don't even remember what I said. It Everybody was just quiet in the restaurant. Everyone went silent and was staring at me. <laughs> it's, it's giving me the embarrassing oh, feelings. Currently. I feel the ick. Yeah. Oh man. It was so bad. And I immediately regretted it. I said, this isn't worth $20 in my head. <laughs> this isn't worth, <laughs> she starts going and the I, second like, the note I came out. Stop. Like it was like, okay, now I'm here because and now I have to do it. Because you had already sang a couple notes and then you realized this is terrible. And then I and then... realized it was the worst idea I've ever had. I didn't have the idea, but it was the worst thing I ever agreed to. Yeah. Then a guy next to Connor that I was singing to leans over to <laughs> They were like laughing. This table was like dying laughing. We were dying. And everyone's kind of laughing. They're all staring at me. He leans over to Connor after I finished the birthday song and just goes, I am so sorry you had to sit through that. Oh my gosh. That's the best part of it. I am just so sorry. Oh, he was like, I am so sorry that you had to sit through it. I was like, oh my gosh. Anyway. That was, it was, it was very that entertaining was, for all of us. That was the worst thing. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it again. Did you get your 20 Not bucks? For, I finally got my $20. Yeah. And so that makes me happy, but it wasn't worth it. It wasn't I will say. worth it. I felt you should have, so much awkwardness. You should have had something in mind that you were going to buy that you really wanted. It was 20 bucks to make it worth it. Yeah. I could go crazy at the dollar store. Yeah, that's true. Just, you know, oh, good times. Good times. Okay. okay. That was embarrassing. Oh, onward and upward from here. <laughs> that was rock bottom for me. Rock <laughs> I would say oh, only man. homemade banana bread on birthdays. Never cake. Ooh. Mm. Banana, bread's good. banana bread's good but cake has its place banana yeah. bread is special yeah but cool. i just need like a i need like a funfetti every once in a while yeah i love funfetti <laughs> it's the only time i really get to enjoy that mm -hmm. okay um in the summertime we play blackjack before dinner every night that's fun that's a good tradition i like the idea I of like doing a game with the, with the family before mm -hmm. we have dinner because then it like 
gets you like together and having fun Mm -hmm. possibly like being mad at each other because you're not winning or something (laughs) there's that possible but if you're competitive if you're competitive enough no i think that that like doing games with your family is so fun yeah we were a game family we always always played games we were a game family but not on purpose like my mom loves games now but when we were growing up i think everyone was so busy and yeah we were all such age gapped yeah that like we didn't yeah. sit down and do games a we lot never really we did younger. it like during the week but it was always like every family get together we had we'd have a table of games going and then at like lake powell we would yeah. play games every night card games yeah. it would get intense yeah we i've had my cousins get grounded before for <laughs> punching me so hard and no i'm not kidding oh that's I'm what kidding. i'm saying is like nerds. it could get like have you bad. ever played nerds yeah the Our family game. would get so intense in that like not even kidding like we were screaming at each other oh my gosh and, like funny but like also serious because we would be going so fast and it's so intense and someone would go out and my cousin that was three days older than me we were so competitive with it and it was like the last round of our game and I beat him by like it was by like one or two cards like he was about to win yeah and I beat him and he turned around and he punched me so hard in my arm like so mad we were such good friends but he punched me so hard and was like actually pissed he got grounded and had to go in the bottom of the boat (laughs) you're at the bottom of the the bottom of the boat and he got grounded and couldn't play games with us no way yeah yeah i mean games can i feel like monopoly could break up families but like other um, than that are you kidding me Catan breaks up families Catan breaks up families settlers of Catan M- that is monopoly and i would say monopoly <laughs> deal could break up families also oh, what's the other one that any, breaks up like, families oh um any game phase 10 phase, phase 10, 10 can well, break up any families game when you're stepping on someone's toes yep. can like when you when you it. like hurt other people yes. by stealing their properties like that <sighs> games just, like that are so fun but so so fun so you scary. have to be in the right mindset <laughs> yeah. anyway, anyway, i like the tradition we, what when we were in tahiti oh with our friends heather and brian we had nothing else to do in nighttime except for play Catan. Mm-hmm. and it got to the point where heather was like i will not play this anymore and she would just go in her <laughs> Oh, it would get too intense. She would go in her room and read her book, and me, Brian, and Derek would be out there just battling it out. Uh-huh. And like it got so heated, so intense, like to the point where I was so ticked off because they would gang up on me because I was winning. Yeah. And we almost, we almost, we were on the trip. We, we were almost stuck broke up as friends. Almost broke it up. But Heather's like, I'm not doing this. She's anymore. like, I'm not going to be part. She left. She knows when to take herself out. She knows. She's like, I will the not be putting up with this. <laughs> no, the rest of us could not stop. <laughs> we just no, kept I love going that. every night. It was four games of Catan every night. That's really Because we had nothing else to do. Yeah. <laughs> I like a game before dinner. I think I want to implement yeah, that too. That's awesome. Okay. This next one says, Wisconsin, 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 wisconsinite wisconsinite here we have to get culvers every year after we get our christmas tree that's cute that is cute i love little stuff like that also culvers is yum guy yang oh so good it's so good good butter burger good shakes good ice cream good fries yeah yummy all right we make a popcorn stringer for christmas but you have to eat the (gasps) one from the year prior first no 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 the no most stale popcorn i can't even eat popcorn is that the not next moldy day. does popcorn get moldy it's got to be rock is hard. popcorn corn they're corn like kernels i think they're corn kernels so you no. just all you have to do to make popcorn is take a kernel no. of corn and put it know. in the microwave no 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 what because is there's... popcorn it's a kernel of corn I thought so, but now I don't know because why are they served? Do they dry out the corn? They're brown. They dry them out and then you put them in the microwave and then they pop like a popcorn. That's freaking weird. What is popcorn? Is it aliens? That's Little tiny question. aliens that I we're actually eating. don't know, but we eat it every night. I don't know what it is. But also I can't eat popcorn the next day because it's so hard and stale tasting. Yeah, so how disgusting. are they eating it a year later? That's really yucky. That's also, hilarious. I'm now really confused of what popcorn is and who found out that it popped okay, like here, popcorn. I'm going to solve this. What? Imagine being the person that found out that a kernel of corn could pop into a popcorn. Okay, what is popcorn? It literally is, low. A popcorn? It's, it's a different looking kind of corn. It's a popcorn that they take. Popcorn is a type of corn kernel 
that expands and puffs up when heated. So it's a specific type of corn. It actually is corn. It is actually corn. Look, that's a kernel of corn. corn. This Zoom is into a that. sweet for reference. There it is. For reference. This Maybe is we'll it send is. it to Hannah because it's so yeah. freaking tiny. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. They have field corn. They have sweet corn, which we eat off mm, the love, cob. Love, 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 love sweet corn. Sweet corn is so good. I could eat five husks what is, of what corn. What is field corn used for then? Because I feel like I've only ever eaten the sweet I corn. I don't know. And then there's popcorn that weird. grows on a husk and you just take That's out really the That's really freaking kernels. weird. Also, sweet corn, give me 20 husks. I'll eat them all yeah. in one sitting. Wait, that's actually crazy. <sighs> well, there you have it. I didn't know that. Popcorn look at it. Weird, look at man. it on the look at it on the thing. It looks weird. That's crazy. Who figured that out? Yeah. Genius. Okay. Um, this one says our family song is Baby Got Back. <laughs> Plays at every family party. I want to come to your family party. <laughs> That's, That's really hilarious. Good. Baby got back. I love that. Every family function. That makes it fun. That's that, really fun. That's a vibe setter just from the very beginning. Just yeah. Everyone jam into that. Yeah. That's, that's really a, funny. That's awesome. Because usually family functions start so boring. Yeah. Because you just come in. Hey, how's it going? I All the small you talk. I saw you do this. Instead of, why not blast baby got back? That could really bring some goodness out we of people. We might steal that tradition too. <laughs> I like this. Our own anthem. Okay must get arby's before we go look at christmas lights on christmas eve i love all these random ones for arby's christmas. arby's fun. i love a good arby's uh, pff, sarah will go to arby's any time of day any time night are you night. kidding me i will have you ever had their french dips they're so good curly fry and french arby's. dip is like my fall comfort food i haven't had arby's in a long <sighs> second today after this i dare you <laughs> i dare you get a little beef <laughs> roast beef a little roast beef zammy <laughs> It's not my go-to. Yeah. But hey, I'll have it. So good. Okay, let's see. This one says, my family has a song we sing when we pass out birthday gifts, and I didn't realize that it was just us. Started singing it at my friend's birthday, and no one joined in. <laughs> Embarrassing moment for this sure. This is a you moment. I feel like you well, would do that. My family says so many like wrong sayings because my mom and all of her sisters make up sayings all yeah. the time. I do it too now. But like because of that, I think that there everyone says things like like that. late as a gate. Mm. Did you grow up saying that? Mm-hmm. No, because my mom made that up. Whenever we were late, she'd be like, "We're late as a we're late as a gate. Like, let's go." Late as a and gate. that always was a saying for me. That's and so I funny. recently, like last Sunday, found out that it's not real. And so, anyway, I, I can appreciate that because we we had to make make <laughs> made up things all the time. Yeah, <laughs> still to this day. All right. Um, for birthdays, my family sings a song we made up. It goes, <laughs> "Am I gonna have to sing this?" Yeah. Happy birthday, huh? Happy birthday, huh? Trouble, misery, and despair. People dying everywhere. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday huh? Oh, why were you born so beautiful? Oh, why were you born at all? The deepest you're, song. You're no bloody good to anyone. You're no bloody good at all. Happy birthday. Huh? As bad as it sounds, it's sung with love. No freaking way. That is so funny. Thank you funny. for sharing that with us. I actually think that is the funniest shiz ever that as that is who wrote that, that is so satire is that the right word satire? um savage satire satire is like when you're doing so like a a bit basically yeah that's, it's yeah i don't know if that's like the right way to bit. use that though to use humor irony exaggeration or ridicule you know might not be the right way to use that um that's so <laughs> savage yeah, yeah let's go with that <laughs> That's so satire. <laughs> That's so satire. <laughs> my new saying. That is so satire. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I love it. That's right. actually funny. Well, that is that is not what I thought was going to come. As no. I read, it got better as I... It's so yeah. savage. Okay. We have a real painted horse skull named Tony the Pony. We put her on a stick outside at Halloween. <laughs> a real horse skull. Whoa. Is it your oh. pet horse? I don't know. I mean, that's kind of sad, but Tony so Pony. funny. All these morbid ones. I know. Kind of getting, they're getting me in my my tummy. <laughs> I might start laughing hard if one more happens. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Divorce is a family tradition. <laughs> no. No, but seriously, it's a curse. <laughs> I want you to break this curse break for your it. inner family. I feel like actually... 
currently a lot of there's a lot of family divorces in my family too hmm. like in my extended family i don't know yeah. why like a lot of my cousins and a lot of like my grandma i don't know lots yeah. of divorces yeah i mean half i feel like isn't the percentage 50 percent? is it 50 yeah. percent of marriages is that real and in divorce i think so Because that's a lot that's Let a very see. high number Oh yeah, is nationwide high? is around forty-two percent. Holy crap! It's a high percentage. That is high. Well, let's make that go down, baby. Yeah, come on, let's stay married. Let's stay married if they're good people. If they're good people, <laughs> if they're not, get out. Then get out, and then I'm, that's oh, fine. Oh my gosh. Um, this one says every Christmas we play trivia, and you have to get an answer right to open a present. That's kind of fun. That is fun. Turn that into a that game. That makes too. it last longer. Yeah. Sometimes like someone's Christmas, opening. We were just talking about this with our friend, but like when you wake up on Christmas morning or like Christmas Day. Christmas is already over. Like you're already sad and nostalgic for like Christmas being over, even though it's yeah. Christmas day. But like, so I like to look for ways to extend the life of Christmas. You know what I mean? That's true. That's a good way. Cause the second Christmas is just like, yeah. you're done opening presents. It feels like Christmas yeah. is over and you're like, Oh, it does depend on how big your family is though. Because I feel like sometimes if you have a big family, it goes on forever. Yeah. We went to my cousin's house and they have six kids. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them are like married now. Yeah. And so it was like so many presents like one year. And I was like, this is like a four hour deal. Yeah. And they, and not, they didn't have like a ton of presents per person, but there were just so many people. Yeah. That everyone's like, okay. Yeah. But if you have like a normal size family, yeah, we have a small family. I feel like it'd be fun. Extend that. But that would make it more interesting. Mm -hmm. Even if you had a big family. Yeah. It makes it like a game. It's kind of fun. Yeah. That's awesome. We always have an Easter egg coloring competition. Not weird, but it does get intense. I my cousins I like this do this. Type of stuff. Yeah, they like do this get... with pumpkins and eggs, and you get to vote. They put oh, it on their wow, Instagram. These are good. They are really good. Um, we'll put a picture of what we're looking at on the screen yes. if you're watching this. But they have like really good ones. Very good Easter eggs. I love it. Yeah, they. My cousins will do this with pumpkins too every year and they put them on the story and it's like this huge competition like who does the best one fun that is yeah fun. people vote mm -hmm. i like it's that it's a good time okay this one says we wrestle after thanksgiving to see who the first who the first to throw up will be oh that's my worst nightmare this is Lowe's worst that is nightmare. actually my she worst nightmare not. i think it's kind of funny mm, 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 i mean mm, mm, but mm, sad mm, for the person Ew, 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 ew. I don't want to see that. I don't want to know that that's going to you know happen. I don't want to anticipate is? throw up. I don't want it. The worst feeling is after Thanksgiving meal. Like let now. like the, 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 the where your food starts to expand in your tummy mm -hmm. in your tummy. The second I start feeling full on Thanksgiving, I start get depressed. Yeah, because I'm like, I can't, I can't be over yet. And Jeez. you force yourself to keep eating because you don't want and it to end. Then you feel sick. Then sick, you sick. feel full. Yeah. Then it's like a few hours later, you're like, I'm ready for my next roll. Yeah. And somehow you eat again. Yeah. But crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. We watch Napoleon Dynamite on Christmas every year. Not sure how it got started, but it's not stopping. <laughs> I can appreciate that. I that movie is that. so funny. I haven't seen that in a long time, and I feel like a Tina, revisit to that could be eat nice. Eat the food. Eat the food. <laughs> I love and then the dance at the end. It's Never so forgotten. Good. That was. I think he made that up. I read that he made that, that up. Improv. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I don't know. That was, I think if it is, he's he a made genius. that dance. Also. Fun fact about this movie is that it was like nobody got paid on this movie. It what? was like the lowest budget. People didn't believe in this kind of humor at the time. Like it, people it's didn't pick so it up. Good. It was like the main character, I think, got paid a thousand dollars for the whole thing. No like, I'm not kidding. It way. was like nobody really had the budget for any of it. And they just all were friends. All of them that were in the movie were like friends that volunteered to like help out with this movie. And it ended up blowing up. And obviously so they all good. got like a little bit of a payout after. Yeah. But it's just funny to think that nobody believed in this really, movie. Yeah. They didn't have backing for it. That I think that so somebody that was supposed to be in it was like super famous. And he ended up not being in it because they didn't have the budget. But he regrets that. Yeah. But it's just so funny to me because at the time, like when that movie came out, that was the first of its kind, that kind of humor. It's so and true. And we were all just like rolling it was we, so funny we rolled at that when it first came out because yeah there's nothing i hadn't seen so anything awkward, like it so like cringy it funny was so funny the tots the tots in the, the tots in the pocket in the pocket and the guy there's kicks so them. many innuendos i've never laughed so hard than when the guy kicks the tots i just, just love that kind of humor <laughs> 
That is so good. I love that. Don't stop that one. All right. Everyone gets a live chicken for their birthday. Then we eat it later that day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't like that one. Oh, it's, it's like kind of like funny, but like probably how, a humane I, way to eat a but chicken, like but also it's sad. But like I couldn't like hold mm-hmm. the chicken and then eat it. No. Like I don't, I can't know the chicken. I know. I can't know the chicken that I'm that's eating. That's hard. Every year my parents give us a code give us code names on our presents, like something that has to do with our personalities or interests. Oh, wait, I like what? that. Wait, what? Explain that to me. Um, like there'll be something written on the present. That's like, uh, Oh, it's just like a personality that has to do trait. with them and they have to guess. Oh, who it is. I like My that. mom actually used to do this, but really she, well, she wouldn't do this, but she would give us each a shape and oh. then she would do it. And we wouldn't, so we wouldn't know whose presents were what one would oh, have a circle. Fun. One would have a square one. Would yeah. Have, and she always had it in the corner. So we're like, here's all Which the square one? ones. Here's all yeah. the circle ones. Who's, and we wouldn't know until the morning of. And then she would say like, your circle, your square, your triangle. That's actually really fun. Yeah. So then they can't. I forgot she used to do that. I don't know where she got that from. I like that. She doesn't that. do that anymore. But yeah. She used to when we were growing up. That's fun. I think it was so that. So then they're not like looking at and which look ones. Look at the names yeah. and like, yeah, she did That's that fun. too. Um. My sister barfs every Christmas. No. <laughs> Wasn't an intentional tradition, but now it doesn't feel right without it. <laughs> Honestly, my worst nightmare. I love that. That is so sad. Just every Christmas barfs. It must be that Christmas Eve meal that does her tummy bad. She, and now it's just like association. She thinks about Christmas I love that and the she's sister's barfing. Going, it's not right if she doesn't barf. <laughs> doesn't care. But Where's your Christmas barf? Where is it? Can you bring out your Christmas the barf? She just comes, puts her finger in her mouth. I'd be so scared. <laughs> Oh man, that's at all funny. times. Okay, this one says we run around the block with empty suitcases on December thirty first to manifest a year of traveling. <laughs> Does it happen? Does it work? Are that's you guys cute. traveling? That's so we run funny. around the block with that's suitcases. So funny. I love that. That's I love that. I love oh, that man. manifesting. Christmas Eve. You're speaking my language. <laughs> Christmas Eve equals Christmas cheese. Everyone buys cheese and then we eat so much of it. <laughs> Can I be invited to your Christmas Eve? Sarah's Sarah's love language. Uh, Can I come? That's so funny. But actually, you don't like stinky cheese. I don't love like the really crazy. I like some of them. I just want like a block of American cheese. And and that's on Sarah. (laughs) Hashtag American. Give me a slice of that. (laughs) It's so good. It is good. Oh my god! Every cheese has its place. Yeah, it does. Every rose has its thorns. I love a good Mott. I love a good Colby Jack. Oh, Oh, (laughs) Provolone. Monster. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm. Each year we do a breakfast day where we eat nothing but breakfast all day. Also, my can worst nightmare. Can I come to and my best dream? Can I, I come to that too? I feel that I'm the only one in the world that doesn't like breakfast. That is not true. Have our friend group. No, like it's just breakfast. me and Maddie. Derek doesn't Derek like breakfast. Likes it. No, he doesn't. Really? He doesn't eat breakfast until he he loves eggs. He likes eggs, but he's like, I don't want to have to eat eggs. He eats it just because he will. Can't. He doesn't enjoy breakfast. I wish so bad I could eat eggs. Uh, I love I eggs. Like it. I love all breakfast. I just like sandwiches. Just give me to lunchtime to make so I can have sandwiches. Can we have a day where we There's just eat sandwiches all day? I see Lauren chomping down on a freaking turkey sandwich at 7 or 8 a.m. Well, I don't know if that's happened, but <laughs> that's probably I would love happened, it. But like around 9, 30, it. 10, you're It's basically you're, you're the virgin. same thing. You're eating a sausage sandwich. That's true. With cheese on it, and yeah. it's like the same. It's Except true. for I'm just having turkey. It's true. <laughs> it's it true. tastes better. <laughs> that might this might be our biggest difference. I love breakfast. She doesn't. Yeah, and t- I feel my entire family's obsessed with breakfast too. So yeah. breakfast for dinner was my worst nightmare. When I saw <sighs> that, that that was on that the was menu, like a treat for me. That was like my worst nightmare. I'm like, <sighs> I already made push through not eating breakfast once. Like, don't make me have to miss dinner. You know what I mean? <laughs> if my parents said we're doing pancakes for dinner, that was mm. like saying it's Christmas for me. That's the saddest sound in my ears. <sighs> pancakes for dinner. Oh That's gosh. depressing. Oh, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Do you want to fight? <laughs> oh, there's nothing JK, worse than breakfast JK. for dinner. JK, we've or come like to love and brunch, appreciate that. Or a brunch. I'm other. like, give me... F- lunch right now i love brunch too. i've waited all this time to have lunch and now you're giving <sighs> me breakfast for lunch no give me an egg mcmuffin at any time of the day <laughs> i on our road trip i just barely got a big breakfast burrito it was like one in the afternoon yeah ham right there. eggs give geez. me a california burrito and nothing else derek's california burrito was better i will say yeah 
I did it wrong on that one. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. You guys, thanks for watching. This was fun. There were some I actually love weird ones that I'm going to yeah. add to my list. Yeah, we have a few that we might be implementing because of you. So yeah. thanks for submitting them as always. You guys are the best. We're going to be in Hawaii. So our next episode we film is going to be there. Yeah. Which is crazy. Very excited. That'll be good. Well, thanks guys for coming along for the journey. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.